Yo, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Walker's Wave Show, featuring the one and only, Mr. Walker. Today, we're coming at y'all with a video. I know it's been a while, I already know, but I'm still doing it. I'm still helping, and I got a little part-time job right now, so I haven't had a lot of time. And you guys know I brush most of the time, and I've been playing video games, so I haven't had a lot of time to make videos. So, I'm just starting over on this a little bit, so... Let's start with the number one question I've been getting a lot is how to actually get waves, how to swirl. A lot of guys have 360 waves or uh, they have a pattern wave set, but they're not happy with it and they want to join the swirl gang. So I'm going to tell you how I learned to swirl. I started with the beehive. We all have a crown. Okay. I started with that to really swirl. I had to learn some things and uh, I had to uh, apply some knowledge on what was working and what was not working for my hair. So the first thing that I want to go to is products. Okay, what you should be using, what you shouldn't be using. Okay, if you want to swirl, if you really want to swirl your hair a pattern and you have, I'm talking to my, to my coarse hair waivers here. We can't really do that with pomade. I'm telling you, I repeat, I do not use pomade. I used to use pomade when I had a beehive, but now that I have a swirl going, I don't use pomade. I don't really know why, but I, I just, when when I use the pomade and I try to brush, my hair doesn't move because the pomade lays it down. So first thing that I want you to do is that if you're using pomade, I want you to go home and replace it with some pure coconut oil formula, something that's pure. You see, it's kind of like pomade a little bit, you know, it's, it's just not as thick, okay? And see, what this is going to do is that since it's not so thick, when you put this in your hair, our hair is still manageable. If our hair is not manageable, it's not going to swirl, okay? If our hair is pressed down and stuck in the direction that we don't want it to go, why are we going to put something on our hair to make it more stuck? So when you brush... It's more harder for you to brush and change your pattern. Doesn't make any sense, right? Right. Now, I know you see a lot of, you know, waivers with the grease and stuff and a lot of wave, you know, uh, backing up grease companies. To, to get to that level, I'm telling you, they did not use grease. You can't unless they were born with swirly 360 waves. And, you know, I, I don't know. I haven't really seen them like that, but it all takes work. So you can't really do much work if your hair is stuck and greasy. It's not going to add new ropes or a new a pattern. So we got to get rid of this. We got to go ahead and switch it to some regular coconut oil. Okay. Now, once we got that done, we're going to have to switch up a couple of things though too. It goes back to the comb. Okay. It's not about the brush. When you're trying to get your crown to swirl and cover up you can't brush anymore it's not about the brush if you're start if you're trying to swirl and you are starting with a brush you're not going to swirl it's not it's not going to happen we need to start with this this will lift the hair up off the scalp and it'll be easier for us to manage the hair and make it form a pattern that we want it to go cuz this 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 is not going to help. I mean, it will help, but not as much as the comb would. This comb really sticks to our hair. And I'm talking to my coarse hair waivers here. These brushes, I don't care what kind of brush you got, a hard, soft, medium, is not going to, I repeat, it's not really going to make your hair swirl like how you want it to. So I need you guys to fall in love with the comb 30 to 45 minutes before the brush session. And we can make the brushes sessions a little bit shorter because we're you know we're training our hair with the combs a lot more so we can go ahead and tone down the brush and so much that's what i'm saying you could just replace a little bit of combing with brushing you don't have to do both and stay in the mirror for three or four hours no that's just a common myth if you do stuff right the first time which is using a comb and then going to a brush your session will be a lot more shorter and will get better results faster trust me now, 
once we got a pattern going, you know what I'm saying? Once you start to swirl and you, oh man, I'm wave God and I'm doing it. If you're really trying to get to the elite swirl king level to where it's set, you can't even see your crown. Then we need to switch from using this base coconut oil to a more pure oil. Okay, because now our hair is forming into the pattern. So now we really don't need anything to hinder the pattern to flow. So that's when you switch and you go to oils. That's why you see oils are a lot more popular than grease pomades right now, because a lot of waivers want that swirl. And you can't really swirl with a lot of grease in your hair, especially if you're going to grow your hair out, which is what you're going to have to do to make your hair swirl. You can't go to the barber shop every single week. You can't go get a fade or a lineup all the time. You can't do that. You just have to let your hair grow and attack it with combs, a brush, and oil. Stay away from grease a little bit. Wait till you get your hair cut, then put some grease on it. That's what grease is for. Grease is for short hair waivers, really. So if you're trying to wolf and you're trying to get some better waves and get your pattern set and we're using grease, um, uh, we're kind of brushing for no reason yeah because you're gonna have to brush a lot longer if you have grease in your hair and then if you're washing your hair two or three times a week that's going to create fizz and it might hold you back i wash my hair once a week that's it i don't put water in my hair but once a week if i get my hair wet i'm washing it period so if you're washing your hair two or three times a week and you're wondering why you're not swirling boom that's a good reason Stop wetting your hair, especially, especially my coarse hair waivers. Stop wetting your hair, okay? So, this is 11 weeks right here. This is 11 weeks. I'm going on my 12th week. I haven't had a haircut. I haven't touched my hair. Just lineups. This is no grease. No grease. You see? No nothing. Grease can't get you that. Grease is not going to get your waves like this. It'll make your waves look like this a little bit temporarily. But when you start to turn around and, you know, when you don't have the wave cap on all the time, it gets nappy and it's stuck nappy because you got grease on it. So when you go to brush like me, so I can just go brush. I can just go brush. See, it's all there. It's all good. But if I had grease on it, you would see a lot more frizziness, actually, believe it or not. So, all in all, I uh, hope y'all learned something. You know, I'm getting the same old questions up in the DM. That's why I kind of did this uh, video right quick for you guys. So, I'm just trying to help people enter the swirl gang. So, if you want to swirl and you have a whole bunch of grease and stuff, you need to just go ahead and leave that alone for a little bit. And get back to the oils and butter and into the swirl gang. Make sure to like and subscribe. You know, go to my Instagram at Walker's Waves. Like, comment. You know, it's okay to comment. You know, I'm, I can't beat you up you know, online. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let me know something, you know. And uh, remember, you can do it. Stay wavy. I'll take you to the way. Walker knows the way.